people are responding to missing persons case, subject last seen last night in Budo Canyon, female, sub-30, blonde hair, green shirt. 10-4 and red. It's happening more and more. Whether it's our friends who get lost on a hike, or whether it's our friends who don't have the will to live anymore. We have a very short window of time in which we can deploy a search and rescue team to save their life. I'm sure you're familiar, most search and rescue teams, while they have great intentions, are slow and inefficient as they scour the area walking on foot to find lost individuals. Now even DJI, one of the world's largest manufacturers of drones, has even said outright that most drone pilots are actually causing more harm than good when they're being deployed for a search and rescue mission. Now many drone pilots think that thermal is the answer, but typically we only have a 24 hour window to utilize a thermal camera to find a missing person. And when there's no big temperature differentiation between the body and the ground, it's not gonna work at all. So why are drone pilots causing more harm than good? It's very simple, they're uneducated. That's why DroneU is here to give you information on how to conduct a search and rescue mission with drones. We can show you how to comprehensively cover an area. And no, we don't expect officers like Simon over here to be able to look through hundreds of images in a few minutes. Rather, we expect a software with artificial intelligence to scan those images based off of the person's last social media post. We can take that color, scan those images for that color, and find someone within minutes instead of hours. Awesome, got a hit. Now with this new technology, we've drastically increased the efficiency and success rate of search and rescue missions. We can comprehensively cover an area and systematically cover the images. What do I mean by cover the images? I'm talking about autonomously scanning all those images at pixel level for one particular color that we knew the subject was wearing. This is how we change the game in search and rescue. My name is Paul and we're here at DroneU to try to educate you on how to use drones correctly for search and rescue. Help is on the way. I repeat, help is on the way.